welcome to our first video and in today's topic we will talk about subversion of reality so one might wonder what the heck is subversion so have you ever been in watch something and you're kind of anticipating what the results will be and it turns out to be something else well in a way the plot twist can be termed as a subversion and in this video we'll talk about it and how subversion happens to happen in real life so that's subversion of reality so for those who don't know me my name is Steven and I live in Germany but I'm Tanzanian by nationality and we will kick it off with subversion now so this is a dam and we are going somewhere over there so we have to walk through there Subversion or subverting. The dictionary states that subverting or subversion is changing or an attempt to change the normal institution or the system. This can be applied in many ways and in movies, like explained earlier, that they change the plot twist and this is a way of subverting what we have established to be a system of norms that what will happen. And then this changed the whole premise of what we expected. And in life we have subversion. Some people now call it fake news or something of the sort because it changes the political aspect of things. But what about the fake news that affect our day-to-day -day lives? How are the fake news that affect our emotional lives? Our human being aspect of us being beings in a way. And now we look in the age of social media, of YouTube, where we consume as much information as possible. In a day, a person spends an average of five hours on the phone consuming media 90% of that time. So media can be in form of pictures, friends you follow, pages you follow, exotic villas you follow, and so more. We detach our lives. We have escaped from the real life into a digital life. And we are all part of it. We are all a fault of it. One or the other, I'm one of them. I am no preacher of the same, but I'm just to alight a fact, the subversion of reality. How much has our life been changed by this aspect? Now, if you watch a movie, a series, or something that you love, enjoy mostly, you tend to see that lives are condensed into segments. If it's a scene where people are uh, having fun, it might be 10 to 20 minutes or more in a movie. While you're five minutes, somebody has done something wrong or they're building up to do something wrong, but they never get to leave the consequences of it. They get a redemption. And we want to associate our life with the same, whereby we tend to live our lives thinking that there's never a negative aspect of life in itself. We are trying to create a fantasy in which we live in a world that we want it to be a utopian, whereby we want to live in it. A utopia is a world where there are no problems. So now we want to create this and social media is a great escape whereby you can see things you want, you can like the people you want, you can follow and live in it. But what if what is displayed, the mirrors now that have been played are not the mirrors that apply to your life and you want to live your life like a movie. And this now is the thing. People have changed their lives to be movies. They want to live their real life as movies, as the series they watch, as the Instagram posts they follow. They are subverting their own reali their reality. It's, it's perfect to change the system, but only if you know if that system affects you in a positive way. Now, this is not to say there are no positives of it. People get to start businesses, people get to do things online, and that is awesome. That's great. People get to do a lot of positive things on Instagram or YouTube. And that is great. But then, how many people tend to realize the line, the blur between real and unreal? Studies show that people have become less empathetic, less sympathetic, less relative to how people feel because 
every time they get hit by something bad before they can solve it they run to the escapism they get to escape in a world where they feel there is no problem they get to the escape to the best page they can follow that promotes positive attitude happiness no negative news you can scroll through posts whereby it's like no negative for the whole day we are human beings and emotions are part of who we are we can't be robotic we can't live in a world whereby there are no bads and there are no negatives in our life these both will happen but now people don't even know how to cope with a lot of this because they are now living in a subverted world a world whereby it's in an aspect utopian the utopia the world that they have created of their own that wants to be a bubble of it people living in these bubbles now this video sounds kind of cliche yeah we have heard some of this before but what's the difference so here's the difference when you subvert your reality, you become the movie and your real life becomes the audience. When life is condensed into scenes and moments, you don't have a life. You just have experiences and some of them are not even genuine. At most, you are creating a story that you don't even live in a story that other people live, see it but you also don't even live it and that in a way is not reality ring a bell perhaps you know yourself or you know other people i am no saint over this i have also been in times in an aspect trying to create this on my own or trying to create also utopian for me to live in but I have seen how it changes people, it changes how the dynamics of people, how they think, how they react when something doesn't go their way and end up in places they shouldn't be. So, in theory, it's just a world and a world whereby you get to figure out, are you really living this life or are you not living this life? Are you subverting your reality? Are you not attached to things that really matter and things that make you a human being or make you a person in respect when you get to hear songs or hear music that is giving you a vibe of something stay in it till it lasts but don't make it your life so don't subvert your reality into what is possible now this video uh, was the first of the series that I want to make, but um, it's a first entry to this kind of podcasty uh, videos that I'm trying to make. They're not podcasts, or I can say vloggish videos. And I would love you to put a like button if you enjoyed. Comment below if you understood a little bit of something or you want to share an experience or something and subscribe because there'll be more greater videos that will be coming ahead and stay tuned my name is steven nice meeting you ciao